Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well and happy holidays to you. And for those that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones. I hope it's a, an abundant and joyous time for all of you. So for this reading, this is really for any sun, moon or rising Taurus sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, the guidance and the possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. Okay. Okay. So in terms of awareness for the week, you have the three of pentacles and you have the sun, major arcana. So the three of pentacles goes to um, working with others, working toward a common goal, successfully bringing your talents to this goal. So whether you're building a home, whether you're creating something from scratch, building something, um, sharing ideas, connecting, listening to each other, there's a sense of you both being very talented and bringing what you have and making it work. The three of pentacles goes toward our, often our careers, um, you know, our resources, and uh, it's about successful partnership. Can be also, it can also be about um, the money behind a project uh, for those that are maybe renovating or something. It can have something to do with money coming in to help build or to help create. But there's certainly a sense here, uh, even though her back is turned to the sky, you know, they're working on something together. So whether you're working on a relationship, whether you're working on a hobby, or maybe you're studying in order to become a more experienced within your job or to move laterally, you know, it's about communication. It's about, um, people working together toward a singular goal and bringing their talents to the table. So then we have the sun. And the sun here, we see the baby, we see the beautiful white pony, and we see the woman and the wonderful sunflowers. And we think of abundance, we think of happiness, we think of the brilliance and the radiance of the sun. And what the sun brings to us, it makes us feel vital. It brings us energy. We get inspired by the sun. We want to go outside and run and be free and to feel that freedom. And so when we think of the sun, we think of our confidence and enjoying uh, the freedom of our passions, of what we want to do. It's a time to focus on your passions. It's a time to celebrate good relationships. Again, whether they're work or whether you're, they're personal, celebrate your good relationships, have some fun, feel free, and you know, let your light and your happiness beam out to others. And then you in turn will get their light coming in. And that's a powerful cycle. It's a powerful exchange of energy. So in terms of guidance, we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Six of Cups. So the Eight of Wands, we see the horses here moving, moving it out. And um, this is typically a card of movement, of swift movement. And it can represent projects starting or projects ending. It can suggest that you're gonna be getting some news. Maybe you have an invitation, maybe you get an offer you might need to turn around a quick response. Um, communication aspect is to make sure that in, if you're talking to someone or emailing or texting or whatever it may be, that you're clear and that you um, respond to whatever question is being asked. And so we, we see communication here, but we see really movement. Uh, for many of you, perhaps you may feel that events are speeding up or something is speeding up and for, a literal 
translation, it can suggest travel and um, taking a trip somewhere. Movement of, of moving out of town, perhaps, or moving it out for a week or two or something. So there's a sense here of the pace picking up either projects or meetings or decisions to be made, communications to be returned, um, to be mindful of this for your guidance. And then we also have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is really such a beautiful idea. And this card is about, um, really at its core, it's about how you treat others and how you allow yourself to receive as well. And here's this connection, this sparkling light between the child and the woman. And it's how we, we, take, uh, we take pleasure in these innocent interactions of kindness, consideration, empathy, and compassion, of treating people well. So this can be a simple message of treating someone with a lot of sweetness and love this week, of gentleness of gentle spirit, of gift giving from a very big heart. We also sometimes think of Six of Cups as, as uh, memories, walking down memory lane, having a memory or two that brings us peace or comfort. In a literal translation, maybe you're going to be seeing people that you haven't seen in a while, old family members, old friends. You're reconnecting. It's always good for the soul. Uh, to sometimes to reconnect with the right people and um, to feel feel that boost of nostalgia. You're going to your hometown, seeing friends or family you haven't seen in a while. It can be very restorative. For some, maybe not so restorative. It's just, again, it's unique to everyone's situation. But this is definitely a sense of gentleness, kindness, and for some of you, Walking down memory lane, seeing people you haven't seen, connecting, maybe having a laugh or two, hopefully no tears or anything like that, like, you know, uh, your ex or something like that that's going to bring back a negative energy. But again, we learn through experience. We learn through ups and downs. They're life lessons. And so the nostalgia part of this is always there to inform, to help us um, make sense of things. So in terms of uh, possible outcomes, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, and we have the Seven of Swords. So the Wheel of Fortune goes to the universe's grand design of how life is built of cycles, of the seasons changing, and that there's such a tremendous amount of change within our lifetime. The wheel is always turning, and here we get another sense of movement, of perhaps the pace picking up for you. So we have randomness all the time. Random events come in our life, good things and bad things. It's a matter of how you react to them and how you respond and that you don't let unexpected fortune crush you, that you find a way to make the best of it. You'd find a way to keep the balance on top of this wheel. And uh, this can suggest that maybe a cycle for you or a project is ending and that you may be considering something else. Um, you may be making decisions on your future with respect to what's kind of the peaks and valleys of what's happening within your situation, within your life. But things could be changing, you know. You may be getting some news that um, either rocks you or shocks you or is like, wow, that's awesome. It's a matter of how you approach it and how you think about it. So with this Wheel of Fortune, we have the Seven of Swords. In the Seven of Swords, we see the person here with the swords crouching uh, with the wings. And uh, often we, we may think of this card as dis deception, as trickery, someone trying to take advantage. And uh, it's just important for you to be aware of people's motives, how they present themselves, um, whether they're trying to take something from you or whether they're trying to hone in on a relationship or on your your territory at the office, you know, or taking credit for something that they didn't do. We run into these characters all the time. 
A lot of scam artists, a lot of people who you think one thing and then you find out another thing. So be on, I would say, be protective of yourself. Be aware and look for realistic discussions. You know, if, if you're going to be imparting with your money, if you're going to be investing in a project, you need to do your due diligence. You need to be really careful and do your homework um, before you do that. So be mindful, seven of swords. Someone could be not presenting themselves very truthfully to you. Uh, so be mindful of that. So let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. So follow your bliss in terms of the sun, in terms of the news coming your way, offers perhaps with the eight of wands, with the opportunity to be gentle and kind and receptive and expressive as well. And your bliss, perhaps the wheel of fortune brings you wonderful, good fortune. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Compassion, you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. And that is so much in line with the Six of Cups here. Showing compassion, demonstrating, acting with love and a good heart. This is what I have for you for the week. I hope you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful holiday week and I'll see you next week for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.